The Culture of Pig Farming Key Objectives Improving Cultivation Performance, Production Efficiency, Growth Speed, Efficiency of Changing the Feed Improving Structural Quality of Meat Main Points Income Earning for Farmers, From the Sale of Meat, The Derived Products and From Animals Obtaining High Quality Products Safe for Consumer Health Preserving the Well-Being of Animals and Humans Reducing the Impact of Breeding on the Environment Phases of the Breeding Cycle So Fertilization Conception, 114 to 115 days, Farrowing Nursing, 21 to 28 days, Covered Rest, 6 days Piglets Weaning, 21 to 28 days, 5 to 7 kilograms of body weight, post weaning, up to 30 kilograms. Followed by, fattening of a light pig, fattening of a heavy pig. Breeding new souse. Growth fattening, 100 kilograms light pig 6 months, 160 kilograms heavy pig 10 months. Heat signs. In the proestrous and estrous phases animals face anatomic and behavioral changes, particularly at the level of genitals, that facilitate the identification of standing heat and draw the attention of the handler. Proestrous phase. Thickening and reddening of the vulva. The animal is not calm. The animal shows interest in human presence, e.g. when the handler passes by, the animal is the first to rise. Appetite begins to reduce. If the sow is free, she attempts to lean on other pigs, and if other pigs attempt the same, she does not resist and stands still. Presence of vaginal fluid, mucus. Estrus phase. The redness of the vulva begins to reduce. The edema of the vulva begins to reduce. The presence of the mucus is increased, it becomes increasingly bigger towards the end of standing heat. The sow requires a bore. It loses appetite. Makes a characteristic roar. Keeps leaning on other sows and if they do the same she does not move. In the presence of the pig she stands still, lowers and raises the ears. Accepts mating. Recommended, take the sow to the boar once the standing heat has begun and leave her there until the emergence of the immobility reflex. If artificial fertilization occurs, the first fertilization at the time of the appearance of heat, then fertilization is repeated after 24 hours until the appearance of the reflex of immobilization. Breeding new reproducers, young sow slash gilts. The following should be considered. It is recommended that the gilt begin the reproduction cycle as early as possible equals pregnant and nursing equals income. However, starting too early when the gilt is too young may negatively affect her physical development in the future. Solution when to fertilize. The beginning of her reproductive life, i.e. puberty, and first ovulation, mostly occurs from 5 to 8 months of age, on average about 200 days, weight 90,100 kilograms. But, it is advisable to wait and carry out the first mating at about 7.5 to 8 months of age, when the body weight reaches 135 to 140 kilograms. Let's help gilts begin. The beginning of the reproduction of gilts may be supported by a number of actions. Exposure to bore, at least 10-15 min slash day, starting at 150 days of age. Luminate environments. Space of around 2,5 m2 slash head. Abundant feed, but not to excess. Give them more feed 7-10 to 10 days prior to standing heat in which they should be fertilized. If a gilt has never come into estrus for 8 to 9 months of life, it is better to move her to fattening, not to reproduction. What we see in boars. The young boar reaches sexual maturity at about 5 to 6 months of age, but due to poor seed quality it is advisable not to use boars before 7 to 8 months of age. Boar fertility. Increases with age and reaches its maximum between 15 and 20 months of age. It is better to breed in pens with external fences faster puberty and better sexual behavior. They should be able to see other pigs equals they should not be kept in isolated pens and in dark. It is preferable to have gilt slash sows in breeding facilities. Aspects of Kant-Rawling Fertilization From the next insemination to the farrowing, 
we should control. Feed. Ongoing control of recurrent standing heat, we should realize if she is not pregnant. Echographic control is necessary, starting with the 21st day of pregnancy. Environment control, watch for high temperatures, they might disrupt the pregnancy. The shelter should have a number of characteristics. Possibly individual feed, peace, rest. Facilitate potential recurrence of the estrus phase the passage of a bore and slash or handler. Individual shelter facilitates feed, control, treatment of the animal, reduces aggression. However, if the sow slash gilts have more space to move, collective pens, fences, open meadows, it will improve the psychophysical well-being and reduce bowel problems. Ways of sheltering sows caused a big debate in the EU, see more. Farrowing. It is preferable for the sow to fast on the day of farrowing, however water should be available. The farrowing pen should be the cleanest space of the farms, excrement is systematically removed. Heat lamps are turned on for the piglets before the farrowing starts. Usually, sows do not require assistance, however, cautious monitoring may significantly reduce postpartum mortality in case of problems, weak farrowing, oxytocin IM, badly positioned piglets, weak piglets. Nursing. Sows are good milk producers equals they produce lots of milk, containing lots of fat and protein, as long as it gets enough feed equals proper feed. Milk production. Depends on the number of piglets to nurse, not on the number of newborn piglets, adoptions are important. Does not depend on the body weight of sows, exception, those at first farrowing. Depends on the amount of daily feed slash energy intake. Duration of weaning. Weaning normally occurs between days 28-35. If it occurs too soon, at less than 21 days, in addition to difficulties with piglets, delays may often occur with the sow returning to estrus, when they could be fertilized again. If it occurs beyond day 35 there are no advantages for piglets, and the sow would continue breastfeeding in vain. In order to disrupt the production of milk after the piglets have been weaned, it will be sufficient to put the sow on fast for one day, but with water available to her. Breeding Replacement of sows once they have completed their reproduction cycle because of age or because they have stopped reproducing. Breeding can be Internal, reproducing new sows from those farrowed in the stall The advantage is that the animals are known and there are no risks of the appearance of pathologies from outside, in addition, the costs are lower. External purchase of new sows genetically better sows can be purchased with better reproductive potential no blood connections more costly it is advisable to keep a few of the sows born in the stall as well as to buy some new sows from outside when buying sows from outside they should be of age four to five months and not yet mated purchasing pregnant sows poses a risk in terms of pathologies however it can be done if the seller is known and close. Quantitative production of sows. So management involves high costs in terms of housing structures and the feed they consume. The only voice of their reproduction equals farrowing of piglets. It should be as high as possible, this means. Increase of the number of farrowing slash years. Increase of the number of weaned piglets for each group of newborns. It is important to record all events related to the reproductive life of sows.